everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some Fenty skincare and I'm so excited to try it out. Um, it's just going to be a basic review on like what it smells like, what it feels like. Um, this is totally, totally my opinion. I purchased these products. Fenty Skin has not paid me to review this product or share my opinion about this product. This is just personal, personal, personal opinion. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm really excited about trying it um, because Rihanna has made it like everything she makes for women of color, for people of color. Um, so I'm excited to try it because <clears throat> even though she made it for her own skin where she said that she has um, kind of like patching where like some spots are combination, some spots are oily, some spots are really dry. I have not a similar issue, but during the seasons my skin does change as I'm sure all of yours do as well. Um, for the most part, my skin is oily. During the winter, it goes a little bit combination, but for the most part, it is oily. So I'm really excited to try out these products and let you guys know what I think. So here we go. All right. All right, so here is the box. Came in the mail today. I'm super excited. Um, literally screamed when it came, although, U.S. P or sorry, U.S. P. No, U.P.S. There it is. U.P.S. Who delivered it? Literally threw it at my door, which I'm kind of upset about, but it's all fine. It's okay. It's okay. So here are all of the products. It comes in this nice box. I love the colors. I decided to wear pink. My brow is purple. Oh, oh, my brow is purple to match. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is the collection. Let me just rearrange it. Um, so this is the cleanser, which I'm really excited about trying. Um, this is what I was most excited about was the fat water. Cause not only is it a toner, it is also a serum. So I'm really most excited about this. Um, all of the products apparently have, uh, I apologize if I mess up how I say this, niacinamide. Um, so apparently all the products have niacinamide. If you haven't seen my TikTok on my skincare routine, you know that I use a niacinamide with zinc um, serum from The Ordinary. So I'm really excited that this is all kind of like one not one like three step routine instead of like my like eight step routine or whatever it is i usually go in with my kiehl's cleanser and then i do my toner which is l'oreal sometimes i use my <clears throat> my lush toner so that's two and then i do niacinamide i do a little bit of my aloe um from Lush, and then I do my moisturizer, which is Drunk Elephant, and then I do a little bit of like lavender mist for my Mario spray bottle. So that's about six steps, and I'm gonna cut it down to hopefully three. So we'll see how this goes. I decided the timing of this all was so perfect, literally so perfect, because I, I'm almost done my cleanser. I'm almost done my cleanser. My moisturizer, which I told you is Drunk Elephant, is super expensive. It's like $70 for that bottle. And I'm, I try to use as little bit as I can because it's $70, um, but it also doesn't have a sunscreen. When I originally was looking for a moisturizer, I wanted something with sunscreen, but the, uh, the skin experts at Sephora, whatever you want to call them, uh, they suggested me not use a moisturizer with sunscreen in it because they don't mix well apparently, but this has both in it, which I'm really excited about. And apparently it is approved and has gone through all the process of 
being able to be both and be safe and not have a white chalky residue. So I'm really excited about that because um, I do like to be out and about in the sun and living in California, we have sun all the time. Um, and uh, my skin has been starting, starting to get a few little sunspots, um, which I don't really like. Uh, but there are a few that I'm like, oh, that's cute. They kind of look freckly, but if it exceeds anymore, I'm going to be really upset. So I've been trying to use a sunblock on my skin. So, oh, that's backwards. So here we go. And we will get into talking about each of these products in... I'm not washing my face yet. We can put our hair down. Put your hair down. I got a haircut this week and I'm so excited about it because now my hair is nice and fresh and I can now, Ooh. we're getting scandalous here, okay? Um, <laughs> we are just gonna let this air dry because It's nice and healthy, trying to keep it healthy for a long, long time. So, at least for the next six months until I get my hair cut again. So, tis the goal. Tis the goal, keep it healthy, keep it nice. So, there we go. Cute. Okay. So um, I'm going to start by talking about the Fenty Total Cleanser. Um, the Total Cleanser uh, is high in vitamin C. It carries um, the Barbados cherry that Rihanna loves talking about. Um, but cherries in general have a lot of vitamin C, more than an orange, but I'm sure the Barbados cherry has more vitamin C than any other cherry. Um, so really excited about that. It's going to help with my hyperpigmentation, which I'm really excited about. Um, there's also a, I'm sorry to pronounce this wrong, but it's a Chinese ginkgo bil biloba. I'm not entirely sure if I said that right. Um, but it's supposed to help with uh, healing properties and controlling oil and it helps clarify the skin, which is uh, just an, another amazing benefit of this product of it just being a cleanser and a makeup remover. Um, and then also high in antioxidants because of the fig that was put inside of it and uh, the green tea. We love green tea. Green tea is amazing in antioxidants. Um, and then also this product is oil-free. It won't clog your pores. It is for all skin types. And the best part is it's vegan, it's clean, and it's gluten-free. So anybody can use it aside from obviously the people who've raised a lot of concern about the fragrant aspect of it. Okay, next we have the Fat Water, which is a two-in-one serum. It is a toner and a serum. Um, Fenty Skins calls it a universal game changer. Uh, it helps with your pores and clear skins, helps reduce uh, dark spots. Uh, like I said, I was most excited about this product having the uh, cherry, uh, the Barbados cherry, which is high in vitamin C. Um, so really excited about that, the niacinamide, which I uh, probably previously also mentioned that I already use niacinamide in my skin to care routine as a serum. So to have this all in one is amazing and it kind of skips that step for me. So I'm super excited to try that. Um, and then some other things that I uh, learned that was in this product is Australian uh, Myrtle and Witch Hazel. Um, I'm not so crazy about the Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel tends to dry out my skin a lot, but then they kind of counter it by putting in um, cactus flower to help rehydrate your skin again. So uh, the with the cactus flower and then green tea and fig again to add in extra antioxidants and a, a Japanese raisin which helps uh, recover from long nights and helps by detoxifying so those are all extra benefits of this I really was just looking for it for the uh, 
the niacinamide and the Barbados cherry to help with my dark spots and niacinamide. If you guys don't know what niacinamide is, niacinamide helps your skin um, reduce the amount of sebum that it produces. So if your face breaks out a lot, if you have a lot of acne, it helps reduce the amount of sebum in it. I use it because I have really oily skin, which do cause not bad breakouts because I also take other things to help with my acne. Um, but it helps reduce the amount of sebum my skin is producing that will cause acne on the back end. Last but not least, I have the Fenty Hydrovisor. Um, the full name is Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. <sighs> That's a lot. <laughs> um, let's open this up and see what this looks like. So this is the outer tube. And then this piece here, you snap into here. Cute. And then what I've been seeing people do is that this tube here is uh, replaceable. Oh, that smells nice. A lot of people are concerned about the fragrant aspect of this. Personally, I don't have an issue with fragrance, um, but uh, there is a group of people out there who unfortunately can't use anything fragrant because they may have a medical condition or a specific skin condition, um, which just, I'm so sorry, that totally sucks. And I hope that Fenty Skin comes out with a non-fragrant version of this because It'll definitely open up the door for a lot more people to try it and be able to use it. So fingers crossed that they do come out with a non-fragrant version of this. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this because it is also, again, a two-in-one, which is cutting, cutting down the steps of uh, being a moisturizer and also a sun protectant. So. Uh, it being a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one. It once again has the niacinamide, which I'm really 100% sure I'm butchering this word. It has the niacinamide in it again, and it has those Barbados cherries for hyperpigmentation. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying this out and seeing how it feels on my skin. Um, but the fact that it has this reusable, and actually the entire collection. The entire collection is streamlined for less waste and has no shrink wrap or anything in the box everything that came in the packaging as you saw is recyclable okay so like i said it's a two-in-one it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen um the formula is pink so it doesn't provide any chalkiness um i'm not sure of all the details but apparently rihanna went through a lot to make sure that she could do a two-in-one um moisturizer and sunscreen and to make sure it's not chalkiness doesn't have any chalkiness so thank you rihanna because your brown ladies need you we need you we need you um so yeah uh apparently it plays incredibly well with makeup it's goes on pretty smooth and it softens your skin and it boosts and brightens up your skin obviously from the niacinamide and all of the antioxidants in it again um it makes your pores small and reduces fine lines and wrinkles. It also reduces dark spots, uh, has a Barbados cherry in it again. Um, and it has some products, not products, but ingredients that I didn't even know was in it. So like there's a wild watermelon in it that's called Kalahari melon, which is incredible for hydrating your skin. Once again, I said niacinamide, um, hyaluronic acid, and it has a super uh, fruit from Africa that helps to also hydrate your skin. So it has all of these things. I mean, I just got it because one, you got to support brown girls, and two, I needed a two-in-one easy step. This entire collection is so easy for me. So, all right, so we switched 
POVs here. I'm currently in front of my sink um, because I've already showered today. I'm just gonna put my hair up. Well, put it back up because I took it down to try out the skincare. I'm sorry, we're gonna get really, really close. Um, but that's just the way it's gonna be. Um, so you're not gonna really see my face yet. So this is the Fenty Skin Face Wash. It's a nice, like, sorry my hands are ashy, but it's this nice pink color. And it smells really yummy. It kind of smells like, it doesn't really smell like fig. It smells more like, um, I don't know. I wouldn't say fig though. Unless that's how a fig smells, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, so if you know me, normally I use a uh, Clarisonic to wash my face. Um, don't let the water run. Don't be awful like me. Sometimes I forget. Um, it's nice. You can see it's lathering nice. So I'm like crouched down. I don't have a proper stand for this. It's really nice. It has a nice smell its texture is really really soft and I'm washed off with some cold water And my robe is dressed. It feels nice. It doesn't feel too stripped, so that's good. <laughs> My robe is so wet now. <laughs> Awful. Okay. Um, next, we're going in with the Fenty Skin Fat Water. My, feel, my face feels really nice. It feels refreshed. It doesn't feel totally stripped like a lot of the other people. Well, a lot of the other reviews, reviewers said it would feel nice, so definitely feels amazing. It definitely feels amazing, my skin. It doesn't feel too stripped. It does feel softer, which is nice. Um, I'm going to go in with the fat water now. Oh, it bubbled up a little bit on the top. Sorry, just removing all of the rubber. I'm just gonna use a little bit. That should be more than enough. Just like that. Ooh. It is a nice, it's a weird consistency. It feels like a toner, but then it, you feel a little bit of like the thickness in it. it smells good. Always go up, upwards on your neck. As you can see, I have a lot of spots and hyperpigmentation like around my mouth. Hopefully it helps with that. There is like a sticky, a little stickiness to this. Just pat it in. Ooh, 
it feels good. And there is a sticky, I'm gonna even wash my hands after this. And then that's the hydrovisor. I'm just gonna use a little bit. Okay, that has the highest scent. <laughs> Out of all three of them, that has the highest scent. And that is it. I have applied it. My skin feels pretty good. Feels nice and hydrated. I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick. All right, let me just wrap up my final thoughts on the products. Um, the Fentyl to Fenty Total Cleanser. Loved it. Um, when I put it on, it made my skin feel super soft. It also, like it said, wasn't that stripping. So feels pretty good, like that. Um, the Fat Water had a really weird texture, but I liked it. It was interesting. Um, they both had really nice scents. Um, not too high, but like you could tell it had a scent, you could smell it. Um, we really liked it, felt really, really good. Um, it's nice to not have to go through so many um, different products. Uh, my skin feels really good super soft i love that it feels so soft my skin feels light it doesn't feel too heavy um and that's kind of what we aim for is a nice refreshed light feeling after and that's exactly how i feel i'm really happy with it for the first application um the moisturizer slash sunscreen i like it it makes my skin feel really soft right now and it kind of complemented everything. I feel like with every step it like added a little bit more. So it was nice. It is very light. I do like that it's very light. Aside from all the other benefits that I told you guys, I do like the way it feels. However, there's something about it that I'm not 100% sold on yet and I need to figure out what that is. Um, so when I figure that out, I will tell you. Um, there's just some off about it. Something about it that I'm like, mm. Mm. So. So this is the entire collection. I hope you guys, oh, I hope you guys get to try it. I hope you guys like it. You guys, please let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'm not being paid by Fenty Skin to advertise these products, share these products. I bought all these products with my own money. This is simply my own opinion and a benefit of these products and sharing them. So if you guys like them, let me know. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a really nice glow to my skin and it's not too much not too much and I basically got everything I wanted in that three-step skin routine so hope you guys get to try it and let me know what you think I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it but until then have a great day enjoy this beautiful beautiful day it's Monday here. I don't know what day it is there, but it's Monday here and we're going to start out and have a really great week. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check me out on my other platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, wherever you want to follow me. Let your girl know what you think and yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye guys.